All right, we know the drill, water nearby, mat space ready. If you want to dim the lights, you can dim the lights. Okay, just make sure we've got that nice space and just begin to come down to your mat. So we're going to take a nice cross leg position to start here. Okay, and keeping the hands on the knees, start to close down the eyes and just sit up nice and tall. Okay, we'll just let a couple of more minutes go by until we have everybody joining us. Okay, but just to begin with, we're going to just focus on that breath, sitting tall through the spine. Inhales and exhales through the nose. Hi, everybody who's just joined. We're sitting in a cross leg position, focusing on just stilling the mind, staying nice and quiet, and getting comfortable on your mat space. Okay, so keep those hands on the knees. Deep breaths in and out through the nose, our Ujjayi breathing. It is Monday, everybody. I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. Good. And then maybe we reach the hands forwards, find that gentle stretch in the outer hip, bring that chin into the chest. And then back to center and over to the other side. Good, coming back to center, inhale, and then we're going to cross the next slide. Tuning in. Good. All right, so it is our Monday evening. We're down on our mat space and we're going to start in a nice downward facing, oh sorry, we're going to start in a nice um, child's pose position. Okay, so let's bring the knees up and over. Anyone who's just joining class, welcome back to your mat. So in our child's pose, it is a starting pose, knees out nice and wide, big toes touching at the back. Take a deep breath in, and then a deep long breath out, reaching towards the front, feeling that inner thigh, deep long stretch, arms and lats, spine, all head to the floor. Focusing on your breath, inhales and exhales through the nose. Drawing that breath in and then sending it away. Now notice if the elbows are pressed into the mat or if we're reaching a little bit further forwards, if they're lifted. This is a pose you can come into at any point during class. Focusing on the stillness of the breath to begin helping to balance the body to become present in our body and connected with our body. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Nice job, Amy, everybody. Here for a few more breaths. A nice long reach to start. If you need to go deeper into your child's pose, push the heels close to the bottom. So becoming as flat as we can to the floor. Good, one more deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Good, we're gonna take our right hand behind the back and then reach the left hand to the right. So we're kind of wrapping the arms around, find a nice bind position here. Feel the shoulder touching the right thigh. Feel the left side body opening. Breathing here in three. Remember that ujjayi breath. In and out of the nose in two. And just feel that tempo, that speed, getting the body warmed up in one. Walk the hands back to center. Wrap the right hand behind you, or sorry, left hand behind you. As far as we can, bend into the elbow. And then take the right hand over to the left. Feel the shoulder, latinus dorsi, intercostal muscles on the right side opening up. And maybe you're starting to feel a few pins and needles going on in the foot, the ankle. 
the toes. You're gonna take one more deep breath here. And then exhale, lovely. Come back to tabletop, lift up, arms in line with shoulders, and then bring the fingers to point towards the direction of your knees, leaning back a couple of inches into that nice forearm stretch. Do it with one hand first. Keep the chin tucked in, and then back to center. Swivel the fingers round on the other, other hand, leaning back. Good, feel that pressure. Nice, breathe here in three. Good job, everybody, in two. And then back to one, good. Extending the opposite arm, opposite leg, so the Superman flies, keeping that flat spine, pushing the shoulders up towards the ceiling, creating that long, flat position with our back, integrated core muscles on the front. Take an inhale, let's lift opposite arm, opposite leg away from the ground, and just breathe here, testing that balance. Good, reaching long, so really shaking past that ear, thumb pointing towards the ceiling, toes pointing back. Good, breathing here in three. Nice job, everyone, in two. And one, come down to the side, and then take the right hand to the ear, take an inhale, open that chest, exhale, elbow to wrist. Inhale, elbow to the ceiling. Exhale, elbow to wrist. Last time, inhale, elbow to the ceiling. Exhale, elbow to wrist. Lovely, listen carefully, right hand and knee on the floor. Swivel the right foot to the side, float the left hand up into our bridge pose. Looking down, then up in three. Hold this position, push the hips forwards in two. Good, in one, back to center. So we're changing that positioning of the opposite arm and leg reach, other side, take an inhale, lift and lengthen. So we're here for a couple of moments, just testing that core strength. Good, make sure that arm and leg are in line with one another in three. Lovely, can we squeeze, squeeze past the ear on that left upper shoulder in two. Imagine in three, so we're reaching forward, you're into our midline in one. Good, from here, come back to center. Left hand to ear, open the chest. Thoracic twist, exhale down to that elbow and to the wrist. Good, strong in that right hand, inhale, lift up, twist. Exhale, elbow or wrist. Lovely, one more time, inhale, open that chest. Exhale down to the elbow or wrist on the other side. Good, left hand planted onto the mat. Swivel the left foot behind you. Inhale, pivot up into our bridge pose. Now, if bridge pose is too much with that leg lifted, just drop it down to the floor. Good, breathe up and look up in three. Squeeze that core, tucking in the belly button in two. Looking up to the ceiling, nice job everyone, in one. Let's tuck our toes when we're back into our tabletop position. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale into downward facing dog. So stay nice and static, or you can bring heel, opposite heel to the floor, walking out in a downward facing dog. Good, gaze through that ankle space, spread the fingers nice and wide. Take a few breaths in and out through the nose here. So we know the drill with our downward facing dog, we've got the feet hip distance apart, the hands shoulder distance apart. Make sure we're spreading the weight evenly, throughout the whole palm of our hand and our fingers, not putting too much resist resistance and pressure in the wrists, okay? Keep the chin tucked in, looking to the back of the room, walking out that downward dog, building that strength, even holding this pose here. The aim is to lengthen the spine, the back of the legs, okay? Down through the lower spine, our lumbar region, and then into the back of our glutes, our hamstrings, and down through the calves, in the lower legs. Good, taking one more breath here. And then exhale, walk the hands forwards or bring the hands backwards, finding ragdoll pose. Grabbing hold of the elbows in front of the, the legs, chin into chest. Again, feeling that lovely inversion through the head, adding a bit, a bit of movement, rocking right and left, shifting, shifting through the upper body. Good job, everybody. Breathe here in five. In four, letting everything melt away from the day. In three, bringing in that positive mood and mindset for the rest of the afternoon. Also setting the tone for the rest of your week. In one, good, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, open up the shoulders a little bit deeper. 
So maybe when you revisit this pose, we've got a lot more mobility through the shoulders. I know assuming you do a lot of work in your shoulders, countless strokes every single session. It's a chance just to release them. Good, and then slowly bring the hands down to the floor, coming down bottom to the floor first, and then legs out in long in front of you. Good. And then leaning back, hands on knees, find that boat pose position. And then we're going to lift up the feet off the floor, hands by the side or over the top of the head. Challenge that core in five. Nice, everybody. Push the shoulders away from your ears. Lift through the shoulders in four. Nice. Look forward, squeeze the knees and ankles in three. Testing that core strength in two. Lovely. Can you bring your hands in front of you in one? Lower the ankles in five, four. Three, extend those legs. Two, in one. Meet me in laid down position. Right knee into the chest. Squeeze, find the hip. Opening on the right side. The left hip flexor. Lengthening on the other. Drawing some small circles. Feeling that nice pressure on the mat. Laying down. Good. And then we're going to extend that leg up towards the ceiling. Reach for the hamstring behind. Pulling that leg in in five, four, three, two in one supine twist hopefully you're familiar with that now bring the knee into the chest squeeze take an inhale and then exhale pivot across the body over the spine to the other side stacking the hip as we go make sure you've got that space beside you opening up the arms looking to the opposite side of where that knee has traveled to twisting the spine good breathing in and out through the nose so with our sun costume or trunks, after we've got out of the shower, we rinse them. Okay, we give them a big, big twist to get all, rid of all the excess water. That's what we're doing with our spine here. We're twisting through the spine, integrating all those muscles around, which help to support us, making sure everything is nice and mobile. Working that flexibility too. Back to center. And then when you're ready, I want you to roll up, hands overhead, take an inhale, exhale, lean up, come back into that boat pose. We know what's here. Arms out in front, squeeze the knees and ankles in five, lift up those hands in four, breathing in three. Good job, everybody. Two, hands in front in one, lower down all the way, taking your time. And then sweep that left knee into the chest, big hug on the side, circle with the knee in a few gentle rocks. And then find your supine twist with the left knee, take an inhale, squeeze, exhale, roll to the right side, look to the left side, twisting through the spine. And then if we hear any releases of air cracks through the spine, that should feel quite refreshing. Try to relax, let the body adapt here. Think about the hips being stacked one on top of the other. Take one more inhale, come back to center. Big, big squeeze with the knees and then an exhale. Drop the feet to the floor, keep the knees bent. Finding Supdivada Konasana now with our box breathing to, fit, to finish our warm up, okay? So bring your feet together, let the knees fold out to the side. If you want to add some pillows to the side to support the knees, go ahead and get some pillows. Otherwise, just breathe into this posture. Taking one hand to the belly, the other hand to the heart, closing the eyes and staying still here for just under two minutes, okay? Working on that box breathing is helping to calm our central nervous system, okay? Holding in that breath with the lungs, building that strength. And then we're exhaling nice and strong, holding the breath before we take that next inhale. Okay, if none of that made any sense, just follow on with my cue coming up. Okay, take an inhale two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold the breath, 
two, three, four. Final round, inhale, two, three, four. Hold the breath, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, and release that breathing. Okay, if it's feeling quite strong in the inner thighs and that stretch with the knees, just draw them close together. Okay, and just noticing perhaps any change in how your mind feels with the practice now after a bit of cleansing breath, box breathing here. Okay, helps to close the eyes and just soften the body and then slowly dropping the knees from right to left, just wiggling out any, any more discomfort through the spine, wiggles, Shakes, okay, letting all that movement helpfully flow away from the spine. Good, open the eyes if they're blinked close, squeeze the knees into center. And then we're gonna rock forwards and backwards over the spine. Good, taking that inhale as we come up. The exhale as we drop back in four. Good, find that nice rounding through in three. Keeping our body close in two. Nice job, everybody. In one, we're going to cross the ankles and then plant the hands, push back to our downward facing dog. Good. Take an inhale. Let's lift the right leg off the floor, bend the knee, bring the heel close to the bottom, and then push the hips open to the right side. Good. Sacking the hip, look under the right shoulder in three, in two. In one, take an inhale back to center, look at the hands, exhale, step to the wrists, dropping the back knee down. Untuck the back toes, lovely from here, reach the hands up and over. Take an inhale, let's cross the elbows, find that nice back bend here. Looking up and then exhale, hands to the mat. Good, pause for a breath here, inhale, exhale. Next inhale, rise up to Anjani Asana or our crescent lunge. Taking that hands above the head, inhale. Cross the elbows, exhale, lift the chin, look up. Good, inhale, hands to the mat. Exhale, step the right foot back, vinyasa, dropping the chest. Squeezing that core, lifting tall through the spine, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push the heels to the mat, downward facing dog. Lovely, left side, inhale the leg up to the ceiling, point the toes, scorpion your dog, bending the knee, heel close to bottom, and then stack the left hip over the right. Look under the left shoulder, take one more breath here, inhale, exhale. Inhale, square the hips, step the left foot forwards, exhale, drop the back knee down. Untuck the back toes, lovely. Hands above head, nice, cross the elbows, take an inhale. Lift the chin, look up, exhale, hands to the mat. Good, take a breath here, inhale. Big breath out, exhale. Tuck the back toes under, inhale, lift up. Coming into that crescent lunge, exhale, cross the elbows, push the chest forward, lift the chin up. Lovely, hands to the mat, take an inhale. Exhale, send the left foot back, high plank hold, squeeze the core, separate those feet hip distance apart. Shifting forwards over the wrists and back in five. Good, in four, keeping that flat spine, nice everybody, in three, feeling that stretch over the forearms here, in two. Coming through the toes, into the heels, in one, lovely, drop the knees down to the floor, take an inhale, look forwards. Good, exhale, let's drop the chest all the way down to the mat. Keep the hands under the shoulders, come up to cobra with extended arms as we inhale. Flexing that back of our spine, lovely exhale, chin to the mat. Use that strength in the arms, inhale to our half plank with the knees, and then our full plank, and then downward facing dog. Nice job, everybody. Take an inhale, right leg, let's float it off the floor, three leg down dog. Exhale, look forwards, coming into warrior two, turning the back heel. Good, now notice the shoulders over the hips, looking forwards. Good, take one more round of breath. Let's make sure we can see that front toe in front of us. Good. From here, hands overhead. Squeeze the hands together. So we're looking forward still, but squeezing our ears. Let's turn the chest to face forwards here. Lovely. Take an inhale, lift the chin, look up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Bring the back knee down here too. 
simple twist. Right hand lifted up, inhale. Good, exhale, hand back to the mat. Moving with our flow, take an inhale, shift the hips backwards, straightening that right leg as much as we can. Take an exhale, release. Now notice your arms if they're in line with the toes, or maybe we need to have a little bit more support, hands in line with our shoulders, okay? So just find that position, focusing on that stretch in the back of our hamstring. Taking one more breath here, wherever you're at. And a deep breath out. Good, take an inhale, shift forwards into that front foot, hands in line with the toes, come off the back knee, come into that low lunge, listen carefully, take an inhale, up, sweep the right foot back, come into a side plank position, or drop down that left knee into our bridge pose, just like we did at the start in three, squeezing those obliques, good, in two, nice job everybody, in one, high plank, let's shift forwards, find your chaturanga from high plank or from knee plank, Squeeze the elbows in, chest up, inhale, upward facing dog, lovely, good job. Looking up, exhale, downward facing dog. Two rounds in downward facing dog, set yourself up. Feel that stretch down the legs. Feel that reach through the shoulders. Push the ears further away from the chest. Good. When we're ready, left leg, let's lift it up, inhale. Exhale, look forwards, big step to the front of our mat, warrior two, look forwards. Good, okay? So remember that back leg, it's nice and straight, toes out 45 degrees, looking forwards, thumbs pointing up, so rotating those arms. Taking one more breath, let's check the position of our front knee. Make sure you can see the big toe. Good, take an inhale, reach the hands above the head, interlace the fingers this time, push up to the ceiling, still looking forwards. Now I want you to turn the torso to the left, okay? So the the, um, your belly button is facing forwards now. It feels like a bit of a pull in that right hip flexor. Good, take an inhale, look up. Exhale, let's bring the hands to frame the left foot. Come on the back toes, drop the knee down. Good, left side, simple twist, inhale up. Exhale to the mat, hand down. Good, shifting the hips backwards, take an inhale. Keep that left heel on the floor, straighten the legs, take an exhale. Good, a few rounds of breath. I can see a few of you holding or giving that muscle a bit of a, um, a rub down. Might be quite tight in the hamstrings here. Taking two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. If you need a bit more stretch, reach the arms further forwards. Lower the chin down towards the chest. Good, one more breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rebend the front knee. Come onto the back heel on the back foot. Good, and then when you're inhaling next, let's shift into that side plank on the right side. Lift the left arm off the floor. Stacking the feet, looking down at the floor, then up to the ceiling in three. If we need to drop the back knee down or the right knee down into bridge, go ahead and do so in two. Good, in one high plank on the balls of our toes on the back, squeeze that core, shifting forwards and back in five. Good, in four. Now notice if you can hold that strong plank, okay, off um, on land training or any sort of work that you're doing out of the water, you're gonna be able to hold it in the water so much more efficiently. Good, everything transfers through in one. Drop the knees down, chaturanga, lower the chest. Big inhale, upward facing dog. Good job, everybody. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, moving with our breath. We've got five rounds of breath to reset here. Again, a downward facing dog, if that's too much, come down into your child's pose. Three more breaths here. If you think you're still looking forwards at the fingers, bring the chin in and look to the back of the room, releasing that back of our spine. Good, one more round of breath. All right, let's go. Take an inhale, right leg floating high. Exhale, step forwards, dropping the back knee. Good, from here, hands above head, let's cross the elbows. Push that chest forwards, gentle back bend. Lift the chin, look up. Exhale, hands to the mat, release that breath. Here we go, take an inhale. And then exhale. Good, inhale, let's lift off the back knee. Hands above the head, Anjali Asana, all low lunge. Cross the elbows, push the chest forward, gentle back bend again, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. 
Take an inhale, shift back, high plank, chaturanga or downward facing dog, squeeze in the chest. Inhale, upward facing, look up, chin up, eyebrows. Exhale, meet me in downward facing, nice job. Left side, inhale, lift the foot up. Exhale, step to the wrists, drop your back knee down. You should feel really nice in those hip flexors here. Take an inhale, let's load into the hips, hands above the head, gentle back bend, open the chest, inhale. Good, everybody, exhale, hands to the mat, frame the left foot. Inhale, right knee lifts off the floor, hands above the head again, grab the opposite elbow, push the chest forward, inhale. Exhale, back to the mat. Take one round of breath here, inhale. And exhale. Next inhale, sweep that left foot back, high plank, rocking forwards and back in five. Otherwise, meet me in downward dog, downward facing dog in four. Good, stay strong in those shoulders in three. Nice, in two, working on that breath, inhale, shift forwards, exhale, shift back in one, and then downward facing dog. Nice job. Two rounds to reset in your downward facing dog here. Big breaths in, big, big breaths out. Keep that chin tucked in, looking to the back of the room. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, right leg, let's lift it up. Exhale, look forwards. Warrior two, big wide stance. Power pose, everybody. Good. Taking one breath here, inhale. And exhale. Not moving with the arms above head this time. We're going to take the hands behind the back, take an inhale. As you exhale, push them down, lift the chest up. Good. Inhale, hands back to warrior two arms. Exhale, cut all the hands to the mat to come down to the back knee. Good. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, shifting back with the hips. Straighten the, the front leg out. Keep those hands at the front of the mat if you can, feeling that, lip, that stretch coming all the way down the outer deltoids. Breathing here for two rounds of breath. Good. If you want to come all the way down the back knee, you can do so. Feeling that heat rising through the body. Final breath here, inhale. Lovely, exhale. Let's shift forwards, inhale, bend into the front knee, lift off the back knee. Good, hands on the mat. Exhale, let's shift into that side plank on the left. Soft transitions here. Good, if we can reach that arm up, let's hold it there or reach it towards the front. Good, breathe here in three, a little more modified in two. Good job, everybody, in one. Lift it back up, stack the shoulders. Exhale, hands to the mat, vinyasa, drop the chest. Inhale, upward facing dog. Push high with the shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work, everyone. Find those two rounds of breath to reset. One more round of breath. Left side, inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, look forwards, worry two. Here we go. I should be feeling good here, looking forwards. One round of breath, everybody reset, inhale, exhale. Next inhale, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, bend the elbows first, inhale. Exhale, push down, lift that chest, look up. Good, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, arms to warrior two. Exhale, hands to the mat. Good, drop the back knee down. Take an inhale, find that simple twist. Left side, reach the arm up. Exhale, back to the mat. Shifting the hips backwards, inhale. Come into that low pyramid pose and then exhale, release the breath here. Again, if we have the hands in the front on the other side, let's keep them there on this side too. Get a few more rounds of breath, stilling the practice, quieting the mind. Breathing into that really long stretch in the legs. So a lot of lower back pain is related to tight hamstrings. Okay, so this is a really fantastic stretch to help ease that off. One more round of breath. Good, next inhale, let's re-bend the front knee, come onto the back toes, lifting the hands high, inhale. Exhale down to the mat, 
come onto the right side into our plank. Good, remember that hand position, arms in line with shoulders to start, inhale. And then towards the front of the room, exhale. Good, one more round of breath, inhale. Back over the shoulders, exhale, square the hips, come into our high plank vinyasa. And then I'll be facing dog, lovely everybody. Exhale, knees to the floor, puppy pose. Bring the forehead down and then relax that breath. Good, finding a few moments here to still the practice. Regain that control with your breathing if you've lost it. And if you need to go deeper into the stretch with the arms, bring the elbows down, plant the hands together, and then take the hands to the back of the leg. So we might be feeling a stretch in our triceps. We'll wiggle them closer towards the ears. A few more rounds of breath here. Final round of breath. Lovely hands to the mat, taking inhale. Push the toes into the floor, heels down, downward facing dog, exhale. Lovely, slowly walk forwards to the wrists and then come all the way to standing up nice and tall, shaking the shoulders back. Opportunity to take a water break here as well. Okay, so grab some water, shake out the body. All right, moving to our balance sequence, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna start with our tree pose on the right side. Let's lift the right leg off the floor, open the knee first, and then place it to the inner thigh, hands to the side or hands to heart center. And just focus on that breath here. Stay nice and still. Good, hands in line with the sternum in the front of our chest. Keep the breathing nice and steady in five. Lovely Martin Eduardo Ross in four. Good in three. Keep that held. Charlie Austin in D. Elise Tilly in two. Good. Long pause here in one. Good. Can we take the hands out to the side at shoulder height? Keep that balance going in five. Thumbs pointing up in four. Good job, everybody. In three. I know that ankle is getting a little bit sore on that left leg. In two, focus on the breathing. In one, good, step down, give it a little bit of a shake. Going to the other side. Okay, so when we're ready, onto the other side, let's lift the left foot away from the floor, bring it to the inner thigh. Good job, Martin, and Martin, your partner next to you. Hands to heart center. They may find one side you're a little bit better at that balance. Good, and four, make sure that knee is pointing out to the side. Don't lean forwards, push the shoulders back, chest up in four. Good, in three, control your breathing. In two, perfect, everybody. In one, hands out, take an inhale. In five, in four, woo. In three, good, we're strengthening the stability within the ankles. In two, and the lower leg. In one, lovely step that left foot down, give your body a bit of a shake. Okay, so we're moving into our dancer's pose now. So we've done a lot of that opening with the hip forwards and backwards, okay? So this could be a really good opportunity to revisit that pose. So we're gonna start with our right leg, we're gonna send it behind us. Heel touching the back, okay? Close to the bottom as you can. Knees kissing, okay? Left arm up to the ceiling. Take an inhale here. Now as you exhale, lower the chest forwards and then begin to kick into the back hand when you can. Keep the gaze forwards, make sure the hips stay square to the shoulders. Thumb pointing up on that left hand. Breathe it here and hold in five. Inhales, exhales in four. Nice job, everybody. In three, remember that arm when we did a warm up? The left hand and the right hand lifts. We wanna find that same connection with that ear. In two, good. In one, come back to center, bring that right knee into the chest. Woo, challenge that balance. And then step back down. Nice job, everybody. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. Arms and legs. And then we'll go on to the other side. So left leg, let's take it behind us. Heel to bottom. Knees align. Right arm, right arm above the head. Good. 
challenge your drishti, your point of focus in front of you. Hopefully it's not anything that moves. Take an inhale and then exhale at pivot at the hips. So bring that chest down as we take the leg bent behind us. Okay, that counterbalance. When you're ready, take an inhale again. And then begin to kick into that foot. Good, not moving the front of our chest, just moving that foot behind us, opening up that left hip flexor, nice in five. Good, in four, reach forwards now, in three. Lovely everybody, in two. And one, back to center. Good, give your arms and legs a bit of a shake. Okay, so we've got another opportunity to try that pose out. Okay, so we know what we're doing, muscle memory. We're coming up with another, another opportunity, okay? So with that right leg, or sorry, with the, yeah, with the right leg. Reach it back behind. Bring that heel as close to the bottom cheek as you can. Kiss the knees together, left arm up and over the top of our head. Make sure the elbow is not winging out to the side, it's tucked back behind. Take an inhale here, find your drishti. And then exhale, lean forwards with the torso. Hinging at the hip. And then when we find that position, we can't go any further, we pause there. Take an inhale, reach forward. Exhale, kick into the hand. Reaching forwards and kicking, reaching forwards and kicking in five. Nice, everybody. Focus on that balance in four. Good, in three. Lovely, two. And back to center, bring that right knee in, hold and pause. And then exhale, step it down. Nice work. Let's just mobilize the hips, take a wide step around in a small circle, two to the right, and then two to the left. Good job, everybody. Okay, final side on the left leg. Bring it close, heel to bottom, right hand to the ceiling. Find that balance in your standing leg, knees kissing together. So make sure all those points are ready. When you're, when you're set here, take an inhale. And then chest forwards, exhale. When you're ready, take an inhale. Kick into the hand behind you, exhale. And reach, exhale, and reach in five. Good, four. Three, nice everybody. Two, back to center, knee into the chest on one. Squeeze and hold, inhale. And then exhale, step it down. Good job. All right. Take a wide step on our mat now. Okay, arms above head. Star pose, take an inhale, chest forwards, arms back. Exhale, reach the opposite ankle, push the bottom backwards. <sighs> inhale to star. Exhale to the other side. Now notice the top, the arm that we're not reaching for the ankle is lifted high, not down to the floor. Lift it right up and high, twisting through that spine. Inhale, center, rise. Exhale, twist and across. <sighs> Try to keep the legs straight if possible. Inhale to rise. Exhale, reach. Good. Bring both hands to that ankle that you're on, side that you're on. Try to pull your chest close to that thigh. And just breathe here for a couple of moments. Tucking the chin into the chest, look into the back of the room. Good. In four, in three. Nice, everyone. Two, stay low. Draw that semicircle or rainbow over to the other side ankle. You would find those five counts of breath. Release the kneecaps, let's not squeeze the quads. Let everything go in the legs. In five, in four, in three. Two, and one, lovely hands to the middle of the mat. Take an inhale, lift the chin and chest, flat spine. Exhale, let's bend into the elbows, take them behind and to the back of the room, bend into the knees a little bit, chin into chest. Feel that stretch down the outside of our shoulder blades. Good, and four, in three, in two, in one, bring the hands back to the middle, simple twist, right hand lift high, inhale, exhale to the mat, left hand inhale, exhale back to the mat one more time, both sides, inhale right hand, exhale to the mat, and then left hand inhale, exhale back to the mat, fantastic, toe heel those feet together slowly everybody, taking that inhale as we rise back up to standing, and then exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Come to the top of your mat, fold forwards, hands to the mat, chin into chest. 
Then once you found the top of your mat space, hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, high plank, and then push back to downward facing dog. You're going to take an inhale, right leg off the floor, three leg down dog. Exhale, step to the outside of your right wrist, drop the back knee, coming into the lizard lunge, holding for a few rounds of breath, okay? Mobilizing through the hips, taking it nice and gently, chin tucks into the chest. If anyone's feeling nice and mobile and neat the, into the hips this evening, let's just lower down to the elbows. Okay, keep the chin tucked in. And just breathe here. Otherwise, keep the hands on, on the floor, keep the chin, yeah, tucked in. <laughs> so wherever we're feeling this morning. And then I offer the opportunity to close the eyes and just really connect with this stretch. Helping to release lots of tension that the body often carries within the hip region, especially us girlies. Okay. Creating that space. It's room for energy to travel more freely. Good, press the hands away from the mat, take an inhale. Coming into our pigeon pose, walk the right foot across to the left wrist. So if you've got anyone with problems in the knees, this stretch may not be the best one to do. You can come into a child's pose, or you can maybe give it a go. Dropping that knee all the way down to the right side. And then slowly, once that knee touches the floor, let's shift that left leg back. Let's gaze behind us as well to make sure it's nice and straight. Hands in line with shoulders, taking an inhale into the chin and chest. And then exhale, lower down to the elbows. The elbows are there to help support the shoulders, okay? Now, also what's going on with our shoulders is they're square to the mat right now. We wanna get that same position with our hip. We don't wanna drop the hip too far to the right where there isn't that space where the bottom cheek is kind of tucked under, okay? So use those elbows to kind of support you to mimic that squaring position and breathe through this really long, deep stretch in our piriformis muscle, our glute. If it feels uncomfortable, just test where the knee is, okay, whether it's in, set in line with the front of our mat, that short edge of the mat, the lower leg, or perhaps the heel is close to the left part of our hip, the opposite side. Wherever you are, push yourself up to a nice tall spine position, lifting the chin and chest. And then exhale, send that right knee back, tuck the toes, tuck, um, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale, lifting high. Exhale, come into our lizard lunge, drop the back knee, other side, and then walk the foot back a couple of inches. Okay, make sure that front knee is in line with the ankle, okay? Not shifting too far back and not overdoing that positioning, okay? So we wanna make sure it's in line, perfectly in line. Really important, find that alignment. And then again, let's come down to the elbows for a couple of breaths, if you found on the other side too. A few more rounds of breath here, everybody. And then push the hands away, take an inhale. Moving back to child's pose or into pigeon with that left foot, walk it to the right wrist. And then slowly drop the knee down to the side. Now, sometimes you may feel particularly tight doing this. Let's look behind, make sure that leg is long and straight. And then hands on the shoulders, lifting the chin. Lifting the chest, good. Taking that deep breath in here. And then exhale, lower down slowly to the elbows. Remember that same positioning with the shoulders and the hip, not leaning too far to the left. Good, everyone. Just release that breath, staying relaxed. Letting go of that tension. Keeping our mind present on our breathing, the inhales, the exhales. Finding that stillness and quietness with yourself, your body, and your practice this evening. Wherever you are, push the hands away from the mat, take an inhale. Let's drop that left bottom cheek to the floor now. 
pivot the hips out, wide leg fold. So wide legs here, hands overhead, take an inhale. And then exhale, let's twist the body to the right to lower down towards that right leg here, hands framing the foot or the leg. You can reach forwards to the toes or the ankle if you've got that flexibility there. Maybe the chin tucks in, maybe the forehead comes down to the, up, the knee. Nice, wherever you're at, just focus on that stretch nice and gently here. Slowly rise up, take an inhale, reach the arms above, interlace those fingers, push up to the ceiling, look up, and then exhale, let's pivot the body to the left or the torso to the left, and then lower down, grab hold of the elbow or hands to the floor. So I grab hold of the ankle, not elbow. Again, try to get that same intensity that we managed to get on the right side. Just slow the breathing down. Slowly rise back up, stacking the shoulders over the hips. Let's swivel those legs together. Should be coming to the top of your mat now. Toes pointing up, arms out in front, squeezing all those core cool muscles. Take a deep breath in. And then as we lower down, let's slowly bring the chest all the way down to the back. Good, in five, in four. Nice, everybody, three, looking forwards, in two. And then Shavasana in one. So we're laying down, staying still, taking a deep breath in through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth. One more time, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And then let that breath go. Maybe bring both hands to the tummy. Staying still, settling into your body. Settling into your resting pose. Relaxing our cheeks, eyebrows, forehead, neck muscles, upper arm deltoids. And then relaxing our upper back, our mid back, our lower back. Relaxing our triceps and biceps and forearms. Relaxing the right and left bottom cheek, hamstrings and glutes. Relax, relaxing all the quadriceps in the front of our upper leg, the calves, the back of our lower leg. Relaxing our ankle joint, the soles of our feet and our tiptoes. Be patient with your body. Look after your body by moving your body. And just notice what comes up in that time. The feeling of relaxation, achievement, accomplishment, calmness, steadiness, connection. All those amazing things that we gain from moving our body. No matter the speed, no matter the time of day, for whatever reason you do it, keep doing it. Start to wiggle your toes and fingers, moving the head from right to left. And just start to notice how our body feels now. And slowly come up to a nice seated position. You can keep your eyes closed or you can gently blink them open. Totally up to you, wherever you're at. And then just bring the hands to the knees. Sitting up tall through the spine, dropping the left ear to the shoulder. 
Inhales and exhales through the nose. And then lift that chin up to the ceiling, flexing the back of the neck and over to the other side. Doing one more round of breath here. And then sealing the practice, hands to heart center. Thank you everyone for joining this class. Well done for moving your bodies and looking after your bodies. It all comes from the breath, the connection and the flow. Thank you all so much. Namaste. Well done, everybody.